Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a new series I'm starting. I'm hoping to do it every Friday. Since I'm just kind of starting to get going, it might be every other Friday at first. We'll see how it goes. But this is the Friday Five. Basically what it's gonna be is I'll pick five random topics, or actually, if you guys have ideas, you can suggest topics down below. It doesn't have to necessarily be a top five list or anything. It could just be five things I'm interested in or you know, five games I'm looking forward to, or five favorite Pokemon, or whatever. And depending on the topic, I may or may not actually do it as like a top list. Today's list is not a top list. These are just five games that I am currently playing, and that I believe you should be playing if you're not, or if you haven't. Five. To start us off is a game called Slay the Spire. I initially bought it on Steam thinking, I'll play for an hour or two, see what I think. If I don't like it, I think Steam has that if you play up to two hours and return it. So I figured I'll play, you know, maybe an hour, hour and a half, and then probably just return it and get it on Switch. I ended up playing four or five hours that night um, and staying up till like three in the morning playing the game. Holy crap, it's addicting. I thought for sure seeing like gameplay videos and stuff that I wouldn't like it. You guys need to check it out. It's so good so good there's a reason it was on video game donkeys list you know there's a reason it was on other people's list it's a really fun deck building game as you go you collect cards add them to your deck you fight opponents with those cards it's just it's really freaking addicting and before you know it you've played for a few hours it's available on steam it's on switch it might be on ps4 and xbox one i'm not sure um, but it is on Switch, both digital and physical. Um, and it's not like one of those limited run releases on physical either. It's, you know, you can get it from Amazon. Um, so check it out. It's definitely worth picking up. Four. World of Warcraft Classic. What can I say? I got sucked back in. Um, it's really fun and a really good throwback to how things were 15, 16 years ago. Uh, it's crazy to think that, you know... 16 years ago I was playing this game and was so addicted and what do you know I'm playing it again I'm definitely not as hardcore like I said in one of my Pokemon card opening videos recently I'm not as hardcore as I was back in the day I've done some raiding but as soon as my guild mentioned DKP I'm out um, I mostly do five man dungeons uh, but it's they just opened PvP back up and it's been really fun kind of getting back into the swing of things I don't expect that I'm really going to get back into retail WoW. Even when the expansion comes out, it, it sounds pretty cool, some of the things that they're doing, but it's just such a time suck. And really, a, a lot of the other games on this list, the reason I didn't finish them and I'm still working through them is because of this. But you guys should still check it out, especially if you haven't played an MMO before or if, if it's been a while. Um, highly recommend WoW Classic. It's like it was back in the day. You know, there's a reason it sucked in so many people. Uh, so definitely give it a try. Three. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This game is a great remake of a game I never got to play. I never really understood why all the retro gaming channels I watch talked so much about Link's Awakening. I mistakenly always thought they were talking about Link to the Past. Um, and I was like, yeah, that game was okay, but not really that great. Man, this game is fun. I'm pretty far through it. I think I have one dungeon left. It's just one of those cases where I was hardcore, hardcore playing it, and then something else came up, and I kind of forgot about it. But I'm starting it back up very soon, probably as soon as I finish Luigi's Mansion. Uh, speaking of. Two. Luigi's Mansion 3. I am so close to beating this game. Um, I actually picked it up on the day it came out, even though I was out in California for BlizzCon. I had to stop at Best Buy and pick it up. I played it the whole plane ride home. I, I left a few days after that. Um, I tried to play as much as I could at BlizzCon, but obviously it's BlizzCon. That's what I was doing. I have like a few levels left. Some of it's a little challenging, but you know, there's guides online and stuff. Um, and really, if you, it's a kid's game. If you spend a little bit of time with it, you'll figure it out. Definitely a good pickup. Um, I did play and beat, th beat Luigi's Mansion. 
on GameCube. I have the 3DS one. I didn't really get into it for whatever reason, but this one's in it. Must pick up. One. Next up, believe it or not, is Ring Fit Adventure. This game really actually gets you going. If you ha have a desk job or something and you don't get time to exercise, start playing this. After about 30 minutes, it recommends that you stop playing, which is usually when I stop. Um, but I've been trying to play it every day, especially since the new year started, just to get a little more fit. You have a lot of fun. There's a lot of exercises to do. And, you know, the RPG elements are a little bit light, you know, so you're not going to get, like, some deep Final Fantasy experience here. But it's a workout game. And Nintendo did a really good job. Supposedly, there's, like, months and months of playtime if you play every day. And this Ring Con, as they call it, it after a while, it definitely, like, you know, you start feeling it in your arms and stuff. And, you know, this leg strap really helps to track your movements and things. Um, they did a really good job with this. It's a great successor to Wii Fit. If you were ever interested at all in that, pick this up. So that's it for the Friday Five this week, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to have another one of these up next Friday. Uh, if you have any ideas on what the topic should be or what you would like to see, please post it in the comments below. Thanks again, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Poppy, come on. Stop. Poppy, please. Please. You're ruining my video.